Today we are going to take a look at the northern green frog. They live in our pond out back. They have an average of 3,000 to 5,000 eggs a year. And that is what you're looking at right here. The eggs after they hatched are thousands of little tadpoles. This pond isn't very big, but when they all hatch, there's an actual dark cloud of tadpoles that swim in a circle around this pond as they eat any vegetation they can find. waiting for their little legs to grow. I bought this uh, water fountain here. It's a solar powered one. It runs all day. It's only seven dollars. They have a lot of different varieties of them but they work great. The tadpoles like it and there's actually a bunch of minnows in this pond as well. It's a great place for the wildlife. The deer come down here to drink water. And of course you're going to find a lot of different dragonflies. And I don't know what kind these are because there's a lot of varieties of dragonflies. These cattails, they provide a lot of cover for the frogs and the eggs under the water. You also see a lot of butterflies. This one's wings are a little torn up from the long flight. But now last week I saw a turkey vulture. He was quite a ways away, but he was down by the pond. Impressive wingspans. So now let's go under the water. I'm going to use the GoPro 7 and see what we can see. This pond has clay at the bottom. The water is actually very clear, but because of the clay it gives it more of a yellow tint. This footage here was taken a few weeks ago so the tadpoles do not have any legs yet. Now you can see there's still quite a few minnows down here also and we didn't put minnows in the pond. They just every summer there's just hundreds of minnows in here. And this is the adult green frog. That circle behind the eye, that's where they hear from. Now this footage, they're just starting to get their back legs. They don't actually leave the water until they have all four legs. And once that happens, they are land bound. They all come out of the water and they they come all the way up to the cabin. That high pitched whistle, that's the red winged blackbird. They also have nests down here at the pond. So these guys here, a lot of them have the four legs and as of today the pond is pretty well cleared except for the adults. These little guys make quite a journey all summer long. So until next year, we probably will only hear them at night and don't see them as much as we did in the spring. So the sun has set. The colors are beautiful. It's a warm summer's night a beautiful way to spend the evening.
So I want to thank you for watching. And as always, I hope to see you next time on... Oh.